Hi, I'm Adrian Martinez. I am a district conservationist in Canadian, Texas, and I have been with the agency for six years. My name is Keely Allen, and I've been with NRCS for five years, and I'm the soil conservationist at the Big Springfield office. Uh, my name is Aaron Williams. I'm the State Business Tools Coordinator for the NRCS, and I've been with the agency for 12 years. My name is Janet Ritter. I'm the Resource Team Leader and District Conservationist for the Natural Resource Conservation Service. I'm Nick Shalitz. I'm the Zone Engineer here in Zone 5. I've been with the NRCS for six years. Three of those years were as an intern. The NRCS has a, a Pathways program where it's an internship program that you can apply for the NRCS when you're in college or even in high school. They have some type of positions that you can apply for. And my college that I went to, in most colleges, they require some type of like hands-on you know, credit. So where you're actually working in your field with, you know, getting full on experience with it. And I applied with the NRCS to fulfill that credit. And that's when I really learned about what the NRCS does. And, you know, if you do a good job in your internships, you, it leads you into a good career path. So I've been on board with the agency for roughly 12 years now, but I began working in an NRCS office in 2003 and then with the Soil and Water Conservation District. And then I transitioned over to the Texas State Soil and Water Conservation Board and then ultimately coming on board with the NRCS. I don't know that I was ever on a farm truly until I started working for the agency, but um, my love of problem solving and the love of being able to do customer service and truly help people and then knowing that you're working towards a good cause while still doing engineering is unmatched by working for the NRCS and that, that's really what drew me to this position. My favorite part about the job is probably the opportunities I get to see uh, on the ranches I go to. Um, we see some of the most beautiful country that most people will never get to see. What I really love about the NRCS is the people that we get to work with, the farmers and the ranchers and the producers. They're passionate about the land. They want to do the right thing, and it's extremely rewarding to get to help them accomplish their goals. We're, we're fortunate that we're privileged enough that we can get on a wide range of places and see a lot of different countries that we would not be able to see otherwise and work with a lot of different landowners that some are a lot of fun to work with and some can be very challenging to work with. You know, when they first come to us, they're looking for uh, guidance. And when they are able to put that on the ground and actually make it happen and make it work, their excitement is what makes our job worthwhile every single day. I love the fact that I can do engineering work and actually see the help that I'm providing to people. There's not a lot of positions in the engineering world where you have the opportunity to actually do customer service. When I first got to Big Spring, like I said, I've been there five years. We had a producer who was pretty passionate about getting more forage for his cattle. And over the past five years, we've been able to clear nearly his whole entire property of mesquite. We've sprayed prickly pear and we've got him a really good forage base out there. And just seeing his land transform just with our help and our assistance being able to kind of guide him in the right direction has been probably the best thing that's happened with me for the NRCS just to see the rewarding aspect of how much that's paid off for him. I was in Alpine, Texas and I was fresh out of college and there was one rancher out there that put together 300,000 acres and he would bring over about 10,000 yearlings from Mexico every year and release them all over those 300,000 acres and they would gather them all by helicopter at the end and I got to see that and that always sticks out in my head quite a bit. Every single project we do is different, I'll be completely honest with you, especially engineering wise. Um, I've done everything from using water as frost protection on vineyards and orchards near Flathead Lake in Montana to putting in 30 mile livestock water pipelines in eastern Montana to working with composting chicken manure in Texas to rainwater harvesting in urban areas in Dallas. It's, it's hard to compare them because they're all so different. I would recommend a career within RCS simply because everything that we do and our resources have to be conserved for future generations. If we don't do it now, um, may not have it in the future.